Yo, get rad. Wanted to do a video of my Kuahara build here. Um, originally, this uh, frame I got off uh, eBay and it was chrome. And I had it dipped, uh, dipped to remove the chrome and chemical dip. And then I uh, had it powder coated here. So I'll kind of walk you through some of the components. Um, it's not, a lot of these parts aren't, there's very few parts that are actually OG as in old, old, uh, back in the day, other than the frame and the plate here, um, 1969s, that's my van. Uh, but some of it is what they call new old school, I guess. Um, so these are uh, Comp 3 knockoffs, um, but they're pretty much the same exact tire. Um, and then my rims are Araya uh, Pro 3, I guess, ripoffs, um, as you can see there. Um, a little dusty. I don't even know what that brand is. So I'm sure it's made in Asia somewhere. Um, but, I mean, it's pretty much <laughs> looks real. Uh, like I said, it's just newly created. Picked up most of the parts on uh, uh, eBay as well. And you know, like I said, some of them are pretty much straightforward to what they used to be. And uh, you can see my pedals here. Bear traps. Um, so I used to race BMX bikes back in the day, and this is what I raced, uh, Kuahara. I also raced a lot of GT, uh, but I just, for some reason, I really loved the Kua um, back in the day. And then uh, these are cool. These are, aren't old school, but uh, I, th I thought they were really cool, and uh, they work really well, too. Um, on this side, I've got my MX die comp there. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at how I weigh a lot more now. And so uh, they don't work as well as they used to. Um, you know, and then here's the side of the cranks. Seat post clamp. And this seat is a kind of a, a rip off of the, uh, I can't remember what this was. It's definitely not a, a Yumi or anything. Or a Elena. Um, pads again came off of uh, eBay. Um, my neck here, the bars. I think they might be old school. Uh, racing ink, I think. Um, then of course the Amy grips. Love them. Love them. Uh, this this is pretty shoddy. Uh, MX ripoff. Brake lever, this doesn't work well. Um, it's just really fun to build these things and you know, uh, just take them out for a ride. And I'm about to put on some, um, I've got some mags I'm gonna put on it and give you a look at that as well. Since I'm, I'm actually gonna just mainly ride this around and not racing or anything, I've got a, a DK that I'm gonna actually race. Um, but fun bike, man. Just brings back a lot of memories. Um, got my trophies over here. So I'm a mountain biker now. Trophies. Yeah, big boy, yeah. Uh, some more over there. That's what made it out. Got the new DK. I'm rolling that. Putting those mags on. Also have a uh, global. Well, I'll do a little re review of that as well. So like a... Like I said, I'm putting on my mags um, and I have to switch out this freewheel. And um, back in the day, we would just use a screwdriver and uh, just knock that out. But uh, these days you can get this tool. And so that fits on there. And the best thing to do is uh, go ahead and put on a washer and then uh, screw on your bolt. And you don't want to just tighten it too much. That will keep it from uh, kind of rocking back and forth because now it's pretty securely on there. So the trick is, you'd think this would be reverse thread, but it's not. Um, so it's just righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, and you just pop it like that, and it should loosen up there, and then you remove this. You nut and you wash it. And then you can just uh, back it off like that right there. So it comes off, there you go. Then you just uh, screw it on the other one. So there's the free wheel. 
and like I said, just screws righty tighty lefty loosey onto the uh, actual. You can see the threads here. Screw that on. I'm sure, a lot of you guys know this, but uh, just in case. So here's the free will. This is a Shimano, and so just a little, very gentle and. It's just righty tighty lefty loosey lines up pretty good, pretty solid. And just I finger tight it, and the chain's gonna tighten it the rest of the way. There you go. And there again, that's a close up of the tool. This is made by Park Park Tools. And this is the BMX free wheel remover. So there's other kinds out there, but that's it. All right, there she is with her mags. Um, these brakes, <laughs> these are pretty janky, man. They, they, uh, they've always been a really hard thing, even when I was a kid, you know, um, at least these have this, uh, flip down thing, but I don't know, they're just not really precise and, uh, tough wheels. Looks pretty cool. Looks boss, rad. Kuhara. There you go. Lowered the seat post as well. Um, believe it or not, those seat posts, those fluked seat posts. So I cut that much off of it. Um, I mean, it would, it's, I don't know. Lowered it, looks better, looks cool. Uh, go drop some gates, you know. Get some rads, some tabletops. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Also check out, uh, I'm going to do a Flowable Flyer review as well. It's a new bike, so. Cool. So, by the way, these stickers, I got these uh, these decals off of uh, eBay, and they're, they're pretty crappy. Um, I was hoping to have the ones that cut out, um, but I don't know. I'll have to find some better 